You know, you um, you came you came kindly to uh, one of my hustings the other mm. night, um, where we were talking about housing and development, and uh, yeah. it was uh, yeah. you know, very interesting. And, well, and, and a question it's came it's up, it's and uh, you were you were kind of rankled by the response. I was. I, was. I mean, <laughs> I think it's a ve- it is a very very serious situation. We aren't building enough houses. I mean, my <laughs> kids. Uh, you know, I mean, they're young people. They won't buy a house when I bought my first house at 24. Never in a million years will they buy a, their first house when I was 24. Yeah. But I was de- very, very, uh, and all candidates, you know, agreed with sort the of crisis. But I was very annoyed by the the impact one of them, that was Tristan for Plyne Cymru, had when he was snorting and sniggering at things you said. I was very annoyed about that. Well, you know, I you mean, know. I, I, I suppose when you don't tow your party line 110%, um, you will get some of that. I mean, he, you know, your, your, the, the question, I believe, was your your party leader, Kirsty Williams, has pledged 20,000 new homes. I said, well, that's great. I said, I don't always agree with my party leader on everything yeah, because, fair, you know, I want first to fix the planning process because yeah. the planning process is horrifically broken. Yeah. And we need to figure out how we're going to, I mean, you know, up on the hill behind us here, we've got 260 houses going in, but there's not a space in the school. The roadway is a disaster. The sewerage system is a disaster. There's no plans for a GP. There's no pub in this village. Mm. There's nothing, you know, they're talking about a village hall, but been talking about a village hall for 10 years. And, 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 I mean, all these things need to be included in the planning process from the start. Yeah. That's one thing that drives me crazy about the UK is that we don't do like the Dutch do a Bestemmingsplan, which is the the entire system is looked at top to bottom. I mean, the and also voters don't like, you know, uh, soundbite, you know, no. politicians, politicians having to go at each other. The voters do not like that. No. And, you know, uh, well, there was, I talked to people afterwards in that Hustings and they didn't like that treatment of what you were saying, that sniggering of the politicians. Yeah. And also, you know, David Tristan was picking a fight with somebody in the audience, you know, an expert yeah, on that housing. Was that was weird. Well, you never do that, really. And this guy was saying, look, the reason there are any brownfield sites for housing is that they've all been built on. And uh, David Tristan was saying, well, no, they haven't. Blah, blah, blah. And this guy was saying, well, they probably have. And the reason that in, in your area and whatever, in Grangetown, it hasn't been maybe the delay or something, but most have yeah. been built on. Well, yeah, and you, the bottom line is you don't you pick a don't fight, pick a fight. No, with I mean, an e- a voter. Vo- an a voter A voter is essentially the customer. And I always loved Stu Leonard. He runs a grocery store in Norwalk, Connecticut, and people drive 100 miles to shop at his store because he has this big slab of granite in front. He says, rule number one, the customer is always right. Mm. Rule number two, if the customer is ever wrong, reread rule number one. <laughs> That's absolutely right. I mean, you know, think y- right. so you you can try to reason and have a discussion with them, but if you get into a fight with them, you're going to lose mm. because that person is going to walk out of the room and talk to twenty people, and before you know, you it. want that guy to pay your wages. You don't pick a fight, so you don't pick a fight <laughs> with him. Do you? No, we don't.